Zombies are real. Zombies are here today. And let me explain this to you a little bit. The five signs and symptoms that zombies are here and they're alive or they're here today, I should say. Anxiety, fatigue, numbness, pain, eating flesh, walking dead. Now you may say, hey, you know, they're not really here. They're not really eating flesh. And let's well, look outside the box. What if it isn't exactly what we think that it is because of what we've read or what you have watched on TV? What if it is that we are actually the walking dead until we get our lives transformed over to Christ? Um, I was one of the walking dead. Um, I, I hated life. It was so miserably. Every bit about it was miserable. I'd go to bed. I'd wake up, go to work, come home, eat, take a shower, go to bed, get up, do it all over again for what? Life was absolutely so meaningless. Absolutely so meaningless. And the eating the flesh, uh, those people that are around you that are not of Christ, they are eating you from the inside out. Um, it was eating me in the inside out. It was just so miserable. I hated it. It was eating me up. It was eating me up. And then uh, <clears throat> the Lord came and, and shocked my heart a few times. Um, really put the, put the smack down on me. And then it made me realize once I started reading the scripture that it does talk about us walking dead. So if you would, turn with me to Romans 5.12, and we'll read it together, and I'll explain it to you. It's the New Living Translation, Romans 5.12. Romans 5.12, and it says, When Adam sinned, sin entered the world. Adam's sin brought death, so death spread to everyone, for everyone sinned. Okay? So Adam's sin brought death, so death spread to everyone were we actually dead you know were we i didn't think that you could be a christian and have fun i didn't know that i could go fishing and not have a beer in my hand or a joint um or and, and other things i didn't know that i could go sit by a campfire and not be drunk or drinking and partying and then once Again, once Christ came in and raised me from the dead, I, I realized that, that we can do those things. Um, you know, so it, it brought life. It brought meaning. Um, it took away that anxiety. It took away that fatigue. You know, oh, God, I got to go to work today. And now it's, oh, man, I get to go to work today. All right. I get to go to work. I get to talk to somebody about Jesus. Uh, if you would, turn with me to one more real quick. Ephesians 2, 4, 5, and 6. Ephesians 2, 4, 5, and 6. That's also out of New Living Translation. It says, But God is so rich in mercy, and He loved us so much, that even though we were dead, we were dead because of our sin, He gave us life. When He raised Christ from the dead, it is only by God's grace that you have been saved. For he raised us from the dead, he raised us from the dead, along with Christ, and seated us in the heavenly realms, because we are united with Christ. So again, guys, uh, zombies are here today. And they have been. may not be exactly what we think they are, but they're here today. And I was one of them. And I'm so thankful that Christ came in and woke me up, raised me out of the dead. Give me a new heart and a new start. I was just like walking dead. Uh, I hated everything about life. And uh, you guys have heard me to say it. Um, again, you know, there was so much pain in my life. So much numbness that uh, I'd go to work, come home, eat, take a shower, go to bed, get up, do it all over again for what? To pay bills? It was just absolutely meaningless. You know, I was the walking dead. I was walking dead. And eating the flesh, you know. Uh, the, the enemy has people out there um, and, and so much more 
that will eat you up. They will take you right straight to hell with them. Uh, if they can put uh, a temptation or if they can put denial, if they can put uh, chaos, confusion in around you, they will. And it will eat you up, folks. It will eat you up. And then when Jesus raises from the dead, did he come to you and say, Josh, raise up from the dead? You know, he, you know, he may have, but it just didn't hear that. What happened? What did he do? He come in and he shocked your heart. He shocked my heart, right? It's just like putting these on here. Here and here. And I may be doing it wrong. Well, it's what I kind of researched and found on there. And then he said, clear. Push a button. Wham. Hit you, boy. Jar your heart, right? He did it to me three times. Three times he come. He hit me. Clear. Hit that again. Wham. He hit that heart. Hit that heart. And he wanted us to rise up out of the dead. He's bringing us back from the dead, you know? Um, so... Every time that we have that hitness of a heart, we think, oh, man, what's happened to me? What's going on? And it's actually Christ is trying to get a hold of you. He's hitting that heart. Wham! Wham! You know? So here we are. All these folks that are out here right now, if they're not believers of Christ, they are walking dead. They are walking dead. They are zombies. It may not be exactly what we think it is, but what we've read and hear and what you watch on TV or whatever, they are walking dead. Until Christ gets a hold of them, uh, sends you in their life to help raise them up out of the dead, they're still walking dead. They're walking numb. They have no uh, purpose in life. Uh, again, you know, it is. We are walking dead, and Christ comes in and hits your heart. Well, rise up. Boom. Rise up. Boom.